this scenario, Joe has come in to see his primary care provider for some relief from recurrent back pain that has recently flared up. His nurse practitioner, Simone, decides to consult via telehealth with Christy, a physical therapist, to help assess Joe's condition and determine the best course of action. This telehealth session is conducted using a telemedicine cart that integrates a resolution camera, display, and network access to bring remote healthcare providers right to the patient's side. Sometimes, unexpected technical difficulties occur. Creative problem solving can help. Here, the patient had problems hearing the physical therapist through the telemedicine cart, so the telepresenter facilitates. Hi, Simone. Hi, Christy. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. We uh, have a telehealth visit you need some help with? Yes, we do. Okay. Have we uh, gotten telehealth consent? We have consent here. Okay, just give me a little bit about what's going on. Okay, I have um, Mr. Joe here presenting with some back pain. Um, he has a chronic history of back pain, but it seems to be worsening. Okay. You happen to ask him um, if he's had any loss of, of bladder or bowel? She said, have you had loss of bowel or bladder? Uh, no. No? Has he had any numbness or tingling in either leg? Any numbness or tingling? Very little. Very little. Okay. Which leg is bothering him? Left. Why don't we do a couple of exam techniques, see, see what the physical findings are. Okay, sounds good. You want to check his reflexes and his lower extremities? Sure. Are you have a good view? Were you able to see that? I was. I'm thinking okay. maybe if you can stand him up and let's see if he's able to touch his toes and do some lateral bending. Okay. So she wants you to stand up and touch your toes. Okay. I'm going to adjust the camera. Let me know. That's great right there. If you can just put him a little bit more towards the wall. Yeah, go a little bit towards the wall so mm -hmm. she can see your um, toes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Very good. Okay. You can scoot a little bit down towards me and she's going to have you just kind of bend over and touch your left side. Are you able to go down? How far? Is that as far as you can? You want to keep this straight right here. Uh, well, then it would be here. That's the furthest he can go on the left side. Maybe have him rotate the other way. Okay. And can you turn, go to the right? Okay. Is he able to touch his toes? Yeah. Good. And um, how about some straight leg raises? Okay. And I'm going to have you lay down right. flat. All right. That's good. I can see you well. Are you able to lift this left leg mm -hmm. up? Okay. And your right leg. Very good. Thank you, Simone. No problem. I'm happy to sit up. Um, did he ask you anything in particular? Like, is he wanting medication for the pain? You want pain medication? He's asking, did you want pain medication? Sure. I could use Yes. He said he could use some on a scale from zero to 10. What would you rate your pain? Uh, seven. His pain is a seven out of 10. And can you describe the pain to me? Uh, it's just in the lower back and, and a little bit toward the left leg. The pain is in the lower back and it's a little bit in his left leg. Okay, has he tried any, any medications for the pain? Just the usual, you know, ibuprofen. Okay. 200 um, milligram tabs, two tabs, three times a day. So 400 milligrams, three times a day of ibuprofen. Okay. Well, could you remind me when his pain first began? And the pain's been going on how long? I know it's been chronic, but it, you've noticed it worsening. This round, uh, a two weeks span. It's worsened over the last two weeks. Okay. 
more people visit their doctor each year for back pain than for nearly any other medical problem. A telehealth visit for a patient with chronic back pain allows management with other healthcare disciplines, providing a more comprehensive healthcare plan. In this case, the remote physical therapist is able to see how the patient moves, bends, and ambulates in order to accurately determine his pain, range of motion, and mobility without being in the same room. Joe had a hearing deficiency, so the visit had to be adapted for the patient's limitations. Simone had to convey what the PT was asking. The virtual collaboration between the provider and the physical therapist allows them to develop a patient-specific treatment plan of back strengthening exercises and non-opioid pain management. Thank you. I'll be in touch. All right, sounds good. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.